Hello to all traders and welcome back to the market review brought to you by Orbex. So we've seen a bit more of a spike on this uh, Monday's trading day uh, due to geopolitical risks ongoing and also the fact that there is more of a credible resurgence on gold after we saw roughly about a 56 50 to 60 dollar move to the upside but we are still slightly retracing at the moment as you can see on the four hour chart so we're just looking intraday at the moment obviously we'd like to start off the trading week looking at gold because it's such a popular commodity for a lot of our traders to look at and also the dollar will be looking at as well but let me know what you think are you trading gold is it a little bit too risky at the moment a little bit too volatile uh, with the big swings in the market that we've seen over and over again obviously you know we have had uh, ge geopolitical risks ongoing for quite some time now for roughly about six months so we have seen spike after spike on gold but is this going to be ongoing and also are we going to have another record high attempt uh, above 2400 but at the moment as you can see here we had a bounce at 2300 which is a very very firm support at the moment we did dip below that for some time but as you can see here there wasn't really a, a firm confirmation of that particular break uh, if we just mark out the 2300 at the moment roughly here we're just seeing now as you can see very very choppy um, accumulation here before we saw a firm support just above 2300 and then this 50 to 60 dollar move to the upside so this has been happening time and time again uh, now we're just selling off slightly roughly 10 to 15 dollars but you know a lot of traders are wondering if we're going to have this upsurge uh, roughly about a small uh, support line before another move higher roughly about another 50 to 60 dollars if that does happen we are going to break 2400 but that will be the next firm resistance for a lot of economists and traders alike so let me know what you think with the RSI well it was majorly overbought for some time so there was going to be this pullback in the market this was pretty much expected but are we going to have this uh, move to the upside we'll have to wait and see but it is very very exciting at the moment because we are seeing some moves on the dollar as well we are just looking to see if price action will start moving uh, a little bit further down we are now uh, just in this slight bullish channel for the dollar index and for the dollar across the board it is just gaining a little bit of strength but not enough really if you think we just uh, drag this back for a few um weeks we can see here that there are some double tops that we're trying to break for the dollar and it's looking likely that the you know the mid 106 area is going to be a very firm resistance area there so just over a dollar to go for the uh, index itself and we'll see if that's going to have any bearing on where uh, the next few days are going because don't forget we've got CPI data on Wednesday expected to be pretty much the same uh, not too much in the way of big drops in the markets you know we have had some consensus at the moment that we will uh, see a slight drop especially year on year uh, but it is expected to remain roughly about the same so would that mean that the Fed will take action earlier or are we going to see more of the same uh, hold on the Fed's um, rate even though the Bank of England last week did say they expect summer cuts for the UK economy but for the Fed they're holding on it seems until the end of the year but will they change their minds will that affect the market obviously we'll bring you all the latest in the big developments in that news um, release but until then have a great trading day ahead thank you for joining me and we'll speak next time around bye for now